Thank you for tuning in to OKC Zoo at two, our new digital series. We have a really exciting day of enrichment for our animals here at the Oklahoma City Zoo. Scent enrichment is one of the most important enrichments that we can provide for our animals. A lot of times as human beings, we don't really think about scent, but it's one of the strongest scents that our animals can use when they're looking for food, finding mates, and avoiding predators. Some of our partners at Dillard's have donated to us some cologne and perfume. We're gonna put that in that animal habitats and see exactly what kind of species typical behaviors we might be uh, encouraging from our animals. We're gonna have a sensational challenge. We're gonna see exactly which perfumes and colognes make it to the top of the animal's picks. Pertaining to how wild cats use their sense of smell, they use it a lot to communicate. Most cats, including the tigers and bobcat, are solitary animals, and so they need to communicate to each other even though they might not come across each other. So they're going to leave chemical cues in the form of urine spray most of the time that they leave behind for another tiger or bobcat or whatever species it is to find. They're gonna smell that and be able to tell if it was a boy or a girl tiger, how old that tiger was, if they are in a reproductive state where they need to find them for breeding, and also about how long ago that that animal was there. So I've heard that Calvin Klein Obsession is a popular scent among cats, especially tigers. We're gonna test this theory of whether the Calvin Klein Obsession is the top smell between two of our tigers, Goosty and Cammy, as well as one of our bobcats, Dodger. So if you're lucky when you see an animal processing um, a smell, you're gonna see them open their mouth really, really big. They're opening that mouth and taking in all of the smell, bringing it back to an organ at the back of their mouth. It's really taking in that smell and being able to tell all of those different cues that it is giving them. Our result among all of our cats was actually really spread out, showing that there's a lot of individual preference between every animal. We had one tiger prefer the Boucheron smell, we had another tiger clearly pick, choose the Obsession, and then our bobcat preferred the Chanel Number no. 5 very heavily. <laughs> so it looks like it's more of an individual preference when it comes to cats. Right, Cammie? That's good. <laughs> Kimmy's definitely making his choice known. Elephants use their sense of smell to explore and investigate their entire world. So they use their trunk to smell. So imagine having a nose in the palm of your hand. Everything that you reach out and touch, you smell. So you're using that sense of smell to create an image of your entire world. They have an incredibly strong sense of smell. They have more genes dedicated to smell than any other animal in the animal kingdom that's been tested. It's five times the number that humans have. So they can use that really strong sense of smell to communicate with herd mates and identify their family members, to avoid predators, and to find resources. So today I think we saw that the elephants really liked the cardboard treats that came along with the scents that we provided them. Although it did seem like Kai Ravi liked the Chanel number no. five the most. So don't be alarmed that you're seeing the elephants eat the cardboard treats. Cardboard is made from paper, paper is made from trees, and elephants eat trees. So they have no problem whatsoever digesting that cardboard, as well as the kid-friendly edible paint that was used to make the treats. Because an elephant's sense of smell is so strong, we use a lot of different types of scent enrichment as part of their enrichment routine. So we use different things like spices and extracts and even perfumes. And the way that we do that is by spreading it out throughout the habitat. So the goal of the scent enrichment is to change up the routine for them and to give them that mental stimulation of finding something new every day. So porcupines are nocturnal animals. Uh, so that means that they find their food at night. They have to have a great sense of smell because it's pretty dark. So they don't have a great sense of eyesight. So they'll look for their food by their nose. Our hypothesis was that they would go towards the sweeter smell because they do eat fruits and different vegetables here at the zoo. Uh, they actually went to the Chanel, which was quite a surprise, but it was really neat to watch. Uh, the girls were looking for some kind of treat and they loved that smell, which was really exciting. So what did you guys think? Let us know. Check back every day at two o'clock to check out cool new features, adventures, and many more. We're keeping you connected during our temporary closure. We hope to see you soon.